What's up, Facebook and YouTube? I'm going to hop right into the message today. And what I'm about to talk about is very controversial, and some may find it offensive or even disturbing at certain parts of this video. But it needs to be talked about because it's a serious problem that we face in this country today, and most people don't understand the significance of what's going on and why it's so uh, destructive to our spirituality as a people, and also one of the biggest setbacks in our evolution as humanity. We have strayed so far from nature today and what is natural to the point that when someone brings up the natural order of the universe, it's considered offensive. They have conditioned the whole world to accept any and everything as normal. And as a result of it, we're creating a future generation that's going to be stripped of the natural order of man and woman, and they will eventually be robbed of the duality of the man and the female as given to us naturally in nature. Once we take these natural practices away and accept the unnatural society that we see today with the homosexual culture that's very prevalent today, once we do away with the traditional practice of nature, then guess what y'all? Future generations will face extinction based on their practices that we've grew to accept as norm and we've been conditioned and spoon fed propaganda to accept this as normal. A lot of people say, listen, don't judge nobody. But what I'm about to show you today going to blow your mind. And you will agree with me that we got to stop saying let's not judge people as an excuse to not tell the truth. It's not judging someone when you simply tell the truth. And we can't always use that as an escape route. So let's get on with this and let me hop into some facts that's going to blow the socks off of you today. Now, let me start by saying that we are in a Greek society for everybody that didn't know. America is a Greek society. Now, that's going to set the foundation for the stuff that I'm going to show you today. Most people don't know that homosexuality originated in the Greek culture. I'm going to say that again, homosexuality originated in Greek culture. So keep that in mind and remember that we are in a Greek society today. So now what I'm going to do with that being said is show you the god Hermaphroditos. Now the Greek god Hermaphroditos was the god of hermaphrodites and of effeminate men. Now what you want to keep in mind with those facts that I just read is that being born in hermaphrodite is being born with a defect, okay? That's being born with a defect. So now when we say that being born as an hermaphrodite is a defect and we look at the god hermaphroditos which is the god of hermaphrodites and of effeminate men we can also say that being born an effeminate man is also a defect. We do know that up until a certain point homosexuality was considered a mental illness but today it's accepted as a natural behavior that people are born with. And if we say that someone is born a homosexual, what we're saying is that nature makes mistakes. Now, we know that's not true. We know that's a blasphemy to say that nature makes mistakes. So when you look at hermaphrodites and you look at effeminate men, it's not a mistake of nature. We can't blame this on nature. We have to blame it on our environment and the poisons that's in the food and the air and also this Greek society that we all grew up in that breed these type of defects in our humans that we see today. And it's becoming prevalent, people. What I'm about to show you is facts, and I'm going to prove to you that homosexuality is not natural, and it is indeed an illness. So when we look at the god Hermaphroditos in Greek society, that tells us a lot about the society back then. When we look around the world at a lot of respected cultures like Kemet, Egypt, the Omec society, the Mayans, when we look at a lot of known cultures around around the world, we noticed that they didn't have any homosexual deities in their society. So what we can see is that Greece being the uh, youngest kingdom, the youngest uh, society to rule and to conquer the world was first at a lot of things that ails the planet today. 
And that's because we're still under a Greek mentality today. Now, the Greeks were the first to develop a type of money system that taxed the people and kept the rich rich and the poor poor to the extent what we see on the planet today. Okay, to that extent. When we look at the Greek society, a lot of people pride themselves in it. But when the Roman Empire rose to power, that was the end of a lot of traditional societies that we really miss today because those societies had home owned a lot of knowledge about nature. For example, when you think about the Indians, they knew dances to make it rain on their crops and etc. When we think about a lot of ancient societies who upheld the laws of nature. Now what we see today in these Greek societies are big urban cities as a result of this Greek mentality. Also, we see a lot of poor people that's ruled by a small amount of rich people. And this was the Caesar system of Greek that we're witnessing and experiencing today. But one thing we also see in this Greek culture today is homosexuality as the norm. So in all Greek societies, we notice that homosexuality and pedophilia is accepted amongst the people as the norm. And they're not accepted so easily because most of us aren't Greeks. Most of us are victims to the Greek civilization. For example, the Native American Indians on this land who are still living here today, they're not Greeks. They became victims to a European society like many of people who are listening to me today, just as myself. In our ancient societies, we shunned homosexuality and we didn't accept it as a norm. So when we became conquered by the Europeans or the Greeks, What we had to do over time was become comfortable with the concept of homosexuality. And to today, what you see today is that it's so accepted that it's all over the TV. It's all over the media. And anybody that speaks up and say that the homosexuality culture is wrong, they are outcasted. They are persecuted. They are silenced. In some cases, they're even also looked at as the person that's just old school. You know, a lot of people say, oh, man, you old school homosexuality is the new it thing. It's the new thing that's in. All the rappers are promoting it. But this is what I want to go into about homosexuality that's going to blow your mind here today. Back to the Greek god Hermaphroditos. Now Hermaphroditos was depicted as a winged god with breasts of a woman and the phallus of a male. So Hermaphroditos is what many of us would call a she-male. When we look at she-males and transsexuals today, that's not a new thing in Greek culture. This can be traced all the way back to early Greece. So when we look at the god Hermaphroditos, we're looking at the first she-male deity. So you're looking at a god with the breast of a woman, the facial features of a woman, but with the phallus of a man. And that's the same thing you get with your she-males today. Now, why is that so important? Because when you look at Hermaphroditus, also you must keep in mind that the Baphomet, which is the deity that most of your rappers, most of your entertainers and actors, most of your government officials and high top ranked masons and fraternities and secret societies worship it's also a she male deity so that's two things we got to keep in common when we look at hermaphroditus and we look at the baphomet they both are essentially the same deities so what we can say is that the baphomet is an enhanced version of hermaphroditus okay these are the same deities representing the same concept of this she male this transgender creature that is a accepted as normal upon society because when you develop the deity for this type of behavior that is the first step of pushing it on the people as a form of reverence and normality and this is what they did in early Greece now this type of behavior was so common in early Greece now for a lot of people this type of behavior is not common and is not comfortable and it was often shunned for example when I was growing up homosexuality was something that people looked down upon. And if a parent had a child that was homosexual, there were many practices that we used to correct that back in those days. Now, I've had conversations with homosexuals who've told me that they went to church seeking deliverance from their unnatural practices. The sad thing about today's world is that now most churches teach that it's okay because most of them are dependent on government funding. In a nutshell, we're becoming a Baphomet society and a Baphomet is 
just an enhanced version of hermaphroditos. So as we move on further in this lecture, the rabbit hole is going to get deeper and deeper. Now we use the word erotic a lot when dealing with sexuality. The word erotic comes from the Greek god Eros. Eros was a small childlike deity with the face of a woman and the phallus of a male. So this is just another addition to the mental corruption in early Greece. We see that most of their deities are confused. You see a lot of female faces with the male phallus part, just like we see today in this Greek culture that the people who are placed on a pedestal are she males or transgenders like RuPaul, Caitlyn Jenner. You have the 13 year old transgender. I am jazz. We never see 13 year olds who would sail in their school work or who do good acts in the community get their own talk show. But yet what we do see is a 13 year old transgender waved in front of your face in this Greek society to make the whole society acceptable to this form of mental corruption. See people, Hollywood is pushing this agenda down our throats and they won't stop until it's become normal in the minds of everybody. What you adults must realize is that you may not accept it as normal, but most of your kids will because they learn by the TV. They learn more from society more than what the parents teaching them nowadays. So this is why I say unplug because what we're looking at today is a society that's going downhill. Okay. When it comes to the natural way of nature, we're losing tradition y'all. And we've become so tolerant to unnatural practices that we're losing our identity as a species. And the sex lines has become Become more blurred than they ever been. I'm gonna be touching a little bit more on the I am jazz phenomena and also this big Frida queen of bounce. We notice that these type of things get so much attention, all right? They get more attention than the young kids out there that's doing positive things in the community and it's selling in their educations. So what is this telling our innocent kids? This telling them that, hey, if I wanna get some attention in the public, maybe I need to consider doing this type of behavior. You know, this education and getting straight A's and B's in school, that's not getting a lot of attention. But the transgender children, the transgender personalities are getting tons of attention. And that's telling our kids that, hey, if you want to be a celebrity or be popular in this society, maybe you need to consider this type of behavior. And they're making the entire society accept this as normal. And they're making us all very tolerable with these unnatural practices. What we must realize is that as a people, if we allow certain doors to be opened in our society, then that opens the door to many other practices. For example, if we allow homosexuality to be accepted as normality and as a natural act, then we also open up the door for pedophilia. Now, most people have nothing against homosexuals, but a lot of those people have something against a grown man having sex with a little boy. We would call that molestation or if you had a 40 50 year old female tampering with a 12 year old you would say man that's sick well if you're gonna open up the door for homosexuality it also opens up the door for pedophilia because the agenda behind all of this propaganda in front of us is to open up the door for them both now when you get high up the echelon in the power structure in this country you will realize that pedophilia is the norm when we look at the vatican and we look at the catholic church Church, we know that pedophilia runs rampant in the Catholic Church, especially with the Vatican amongst a lot of popes and also in a lot of black churches. We had a lot of pastors busted for pedophilia. So what is this spirit of pedophilia and of homosexuality? Why is it so prevalent today? It's because it's an energy that we allow to become prevalent as a people. If we don't stand for something, we'll fall for everything, y'all. And once we give these elites an inch, they all always take a mile. So this is one thing right here we must stand up on and we must uphold tradition and go against these unnatural practices because one day we got to die and we're going to leave a society behind for our children. And whatever we allow this society to become, this is what we will leave with our children. So what kind of society do you want to leave behind? One that's tolerant with unnatural practices or one that's going to bring forth procreation and keep the human species dominating on the planet and thriving, okay, as a species.